Hello, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion. I'm back. I basically took a long break from YouTube, and so I decided to start with my the project I was working on. And this is a handbag. Let me show you. I'll kind of let you look at it, and then I will explain it to you, what I actually did with this bag to create it. Okay, what I did was I took um, two fabrics. Um, this, let me turn it to the back because I can show you the fabric better. I took this gorgeous blue fabric. And you can see it's just gorgeous. It's kind of like a satin with a little roses imprinted on it. And this satin fabric. And this fabric, the this was quite soft. So I put, I think it's called interfacing. I'm a very... Um, I don't know that much about sewing, but I do sew a little bit. I taught myself, so I don't know the proper names for things. And um, I'm probably going to be continuing on a sewing series because I will. I do enjoy the sewing part of it, but I also I do enjoy the <laughs> the designing much more. Um, so I I know I don't do things properly, but this is how um, I came up with this. I went ahead, and this fabric is more like a light satin fabric that I decided to use on the inside of my bag and I put an interfacing on it and then I um, created this bag and the bag itself is um, that's the outside this is the back seam it's where the seam is and then I have a bottom that is just gently squared out so to give room inside the bag for you and it's not all flat this is the, the back portion of it. I, I'm showing you the back portion because you can see more of the original laces. And this lace right here I recently began carrying in my shop. The, I began really with this beautiful netting, netting lace. And then I kind of embellished over that. And the netting, the purpose for that was to tone down the blue a little bit. But at the same time bring out the beautiful beauty of the laces. I always think that putting a color underneath the lace just brings the beauty of the lace out and you can see the details of the lace and that's really what I like. I like to see the detail in the lace. So um, here on the bottom, I will start from the bottom and you'll see that I have a dangle lace and I recently started carrying this lace in my shop and along here you'll see that um, I attached it, I sewed this lace on and then I... Um, added the this is one of the only parts that I glued is I glued on these beads along here with fabric tech and then of uh, this this beading up here I I basically hand sewed it on because I wanted this to be a good quality purse for my customer and the netting is sewn on as well as this lower this lace right here is also a lace I carry in my shop and I want to show it to you because it's just unique and gorgeous. And um, if you haven't been to my shop, you might want to visit my shop because I try really hard to give you good deals on the 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 finds that I I get. So I have a few yards of this left, probably a good five or yards or so left of this. So if you're interested in it, it's in my shop right now. And this is this whole one right here so you can see that let me see it's like this see and you can see how the beauty of this and uniqueness of this this lace is brought out in that manner and then as you turn it around you'll see I add, embellished the front of it a little more and on the front, the main thing I used is I decided to place a beautiful applique on top of that um, mesh, beautiful vintage mesh lace that I um, put on first. I like layering, but when I layer, I like to bring out the beauty of whatever I'm layering with. And so at, with the blue color in the back, you can really see this mesh for what it is. It's a it is a vintage piece, but it's a brand new vintage, and you can see the beauty of it, as well as the beauty of these gorgeous pieces. You can see how pretty that looks. And those are hand sewn. Those are those are actually not hand sewn, but machine sewn on. They are sewn on. They're not um, glued. 
And this is what I used. I carry this piece in my shop right now. I have uh, several of them. I don't know, about 15 of them in my shop. If you're interested in it, this is what I use. And I'll show you how I used it. You see this portion here? That is this bottom portion. I, when you take these apart, you should go through and put a little bit of glue on the back of them where the beading is attached. First glue each side and then cut the mesh because you don't want your beads to fall off. So you can see that. So make sure you do that when you separate it. And I cut this apart and I used this part as a medallion here in the center. And then this part that is here, I cut it off and this became my sides I placed here. And then this one right here is what you saw in the back. I used just one piece of it. So I still have one piece left after using this beautiful um, applique. And you can see how beautiful it looks. I just love, love, love the way it came out. Let's see what else. Um, my customer, she had some input on this. I came up with the design, but I had a different bottom here. And she said, I don't like that color. I want it all white. So I found something white to add to the bottom that I had. And um, then she said, I had some bling on there. And she said, oh, I'd like a, I want something that has blue in it. So we worked with it. We found, um, decided on these blings. And that's what I, how I came up with the, the blings that I ended up putting on here. So a customer, when they call me, I like to get to know them. And if they can tell me their likes and dislikes, I get to understand what they're looking for. And that's what happened here is she kind of gave me some of her likes and dislikes. And then I, um, we kind of worked together and came, I came up with the main design, but then she gave me some of her input so I could, um, so she could be pleased. And here I put one of these Chinese type of fabric hooks as the closure. I don't have very many of these left, but I still have enough where I can use one as a closure you can see it's like a button but I do have a different button I could use on there too but I I do like these and then here along the edge it was sewn but I decided to go ahead and put a lace around it and let me show you why here in the handle it actually is the same lace I used on the handle you see how pretty that lace is well this is my handle and I actually I put a beaded trim on one side and I sewed this together and then I actually also sewed it to the bag and I decided to put the that inside the bag instead of on the outside of the bag I didn't like how it blended so I didn't put it on the outside I decided to put it on the inside and then this same lace I folded it over this way and I placed it all the way along the edge so here you can see that this side has like that shell look and so does this side and after I did all that in the end the last things I did was add the beading which was um, these pearls and this beading and um, I, I decided to hand sew this beading up along the top and I put the same on the bottom and I put these little pearls all the way around and um, that's my bag. I hope you are inspired by it and maybe you can come up with your own design. And I don't, I haven't only designed where I've made my own bag, but I do also have some tutorials about some of the bags I've made with a pre-made thing and I've used fabric tack. Um, so I use a little bit of fabric tack, but mostly sewing on this bag. Fabric tack was used to apply these here, all the, these little beads, just these, because most this was already on the applique and I hand sewed this long one. So I hope you're inspired by this. And if you're interested in purchasing these laces, I will place a link to at least maybe three of them in the description box of this video. This is Liz with Crafty Devotion. I will talk to you next time.